Thank you for watching News Desk and welcome back. We continue with stories back in headlines. Now, the government's commitment to ensuring a realistic and attainable teacher student ratio is evident with the employment of an additional 20,000 teachers addressing the acute shortage across the country. Speaking at Kolanya Girls National School in Musia County, Education CS Ezekiel Machog reiterated his dedication to improving school infrastructure, presenting 10 million shilling checks to Kolanya Girls and St. Paul's Amukura to enhance their facilities to meet standards and accommodate their student populations. Mashogu encouraged parents to utilize various technical and vocational education and training institutions to equip their children with relevant skills for the job market. Our school our teachers who are so hardworking, who are mesoma, utapata PhD at a primary. Was it a report here task force, the taking court task force, task, task force report? Angalia how walimu wa bidi sana waziri, wakue promoted so that we can motivate them. Kolanya well, girls, we have challenges in with regard to teachers because our curriculum based establishment requires that we have 60 teachers but at the moment we have only 40 TAC employed teachers so we are having an additional 20 teachers that the board of management is supporting through payment of salaries so it's actually a heavy challenge it's a heavy weight on our finances as a school but we are trusting that uh, when the government considers employment of more teachers they'll give us priority Tangu serikali ndiye usukani ile walimu ambao tumeajiri ndio mambo yende sawa ni riba 56750 na mara ambayo itawahi kuajiriwa tangu miaka mingi na fikiri tangu amejawahi sikia namba kubwa kama hiyo The National Council for Persons with Disabilities says it will work with all county level 4 and 5 hospitals to offer free medical services to persons with disabilities. Speaking at the Garissa School of the Mentally Handicapped during the